Hi guys, I'm doing a video of this Wolf Puff Limited Edition trailer hamper. See it has one propane tank and I guess there's a wolf on there. It's really small. I guess uh, it's the limited edition. Looks like it has a awning. I don't see any lighting but there's a window and kind of like a glass door and I guess this is storage Let's see if it opens yeah a nice amount of storage in there wow I guess that's an extra shower head Look at the back. Pretty nice. Black and gray. Like metallic gray. It has a little porch on the back. You can put, uh, like, you can carry stuff on there if you need to put more storage in the back. But that's nice. Um, it's little. It's really little. Um, oh, it has one opening right there. Slide. So, it only looks like it has four wheels. Two wheels, actually. And then it has a place to sit it down also in the front right there. This really is a trailer. My forest river. Let's go inside now. Oh, what is this? open oh more storage how cool is that oh no wait this is the bedroom oh my god that's really nice oh let's go inside and see it from the inside that was a surprise <laughs> Got the plugs. Some other hookups or something. Oh, more storage. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm surprised. I was going to go inside, but got a little refrigerator out here. Isn't that cool? Hidden away. Right there. Cool. Go inside, it has a hand around. Let's see if this door will stay open. Yes, it stays open, that's good. Go up the stairs uh, to the right. It's a bed. A really cool bed, actually, with all that storage on top. Look at that. Whoa, it's a cute little place. And, oh, what is this? Uh, maybe this is storage too, but I don't know how to open it. Or maybe lift it up. Yeah. There you go. I figured that shit out. And it has a window here. With blinds. Let's see. The cabinets. Kind of. See in there. I don't want to climb all over the bed. But this is nice. It looks like almost a queen size bed. Um, doesn't have a divider here. But you can always put your own. Okay. And here is the kitchen area. This slides out. Let's see. If I get about four or five more feet in here. Because this will be slid, slid out that way. And here is the little kitchen. I guess this is a command board. You see that plastic over it. Just doing a quick review. This is so random. And it was thirty-eight thousand eight nine hundred eighty-nine. Now it's thirty-three thousand eight hundred ninety-five. Wow. 
more controls. Um, the little kitchen cabinet above the sink. That's one door. Nine volt with this voltage uh, thing here. You see that? Uh, there it is. And you got this little stereo. This is, I guess, it's a stereo right here. This old school, but hey, you gotta have music. Look at the window. Nice little window opens up like this. Um, like a slide. Oh, you pull this out. There you go. Oops. It's pretty cool. How's the bat? Dropping people's signs and stuff. Oops. Oh, let me do this really quick. Let this part out. It's ripped. Anyways, here's a little sink right here. For your convenience, pretty cool water tap faucet. You got this type of sink right here to this out and use this for a cutting board, whatever. One thing I don't like about RVs is they don't have garbage disposal, but they get used to it. And then you can put a hand sanitizer in there or soap. And they have these this two burner stove. So let's see how this opens. Oh, not as easy as it looks. Okay. Look, I do not want to break these people's stuff, but it does say please raise glass before cooking on burners. So I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to break anything. So here's the microwave. Oh my goodness. What a pleasant surprise. I'm looking over at the beds right now. And they lead from here. Wow, the refrigerator is over there. Let's look at the refrigerator first. Um, has a little latch on it. I guess you can't open it. But, it's nice size though, you know, nice size, it looks like it's probably bigger than mine, and from this angle, from where we were outside, the glass door did two bunks, that's why I said, oh my god, because it's two bunks in here, so actually this sleeps about three people, or four, in that big bed right there. And then I'm sure this turns into a bed. But I ain't doing that today. But wow, this is a nice size dining area. A nice size wall. It has um, the ceiling lighting and an air conditioning in here in the living room. And there's the speaker. More recessed lighting. So and this is a nice size dining table. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you the floor. It's a, kind of like a wood floor. Pretty nice. And let me squeeze through here because this is in the way of the path because it's not the slider is not out. But I'm gonna squeeze through here so I can show you the bathroom. And also this has a cord so USB cords on both so this will be good for your kids your family can live in here on a budget let's go in here <gasps> that's a bathroom wow how nice a little toilet with the flush handle right there more wood floors going through the fan so you can flush out the smell and here also is a for well, I think that's for the I don't think is that for a fire detector but anyway here's the shower the way it goes and it also has a little small tub 
This thing is full of surprises. What is this for? I'm not sure. Well, whatever it is, it looks pretty cool. There's the shower head, and let's see if it has any. It did have a better shower head in the storage outside. But it's really cool though, because you could take a little small bath, sit bath, or get one of those plastic baths, um, baths off of Amazon and blow it up and put it in there so you can sit in a full tub of water in here. No window, but let's have this. And this is the view from the bathroom. Refrigerator's right there. As soon as you empty, go fill back up. But anyway, that was a little joke. But I'm pump. And here's the door. And you close the door. And it's still it's kind of tight in here. You see my feet, my purse, to the toilet, to there. So, but it's cool. Like, I could live in here if I had to, if I needed to. As long as the slider stayed out. I got the two beds, and if you don't need that company, I'm not over, you can also use this for storage too. You know, once this gets pulled out, this will be more room, and then you got that storage drawer there, which I'm not going to attempt to take out, and you have these cabinets underneath the sink, and that goes to the two burner stove I did not show you guys. Uh, I guess that's the heater. Yeah, this is a pretty nifty little place. I like it. Would you live here? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I think it's pretty cool. Really nice. Very nice. I don't know about that price. But, hey. Once you pay for it, it's yours. And <laughs> nobody can't take it away. No property taxes. Let me put this people's thing back before I go. They're all set in there. Alrighty. Here's a glance of all the stuff it says it has. 